What is up guys, Patterson Yan, today is FIFA 17 video, so I'm back with another video here today and we're playing the FIFA Draft, obviously something I'm not used to and I haven't done it on the channel before, so I thought I would give it a chance, suddenly we're kind of creeping up on team of the season, you need them packs prepared, you need your coins prepared, you need to clear out your club, this is a good way to try and get some extra packs for team of the season. So obviously we're going to try and win it here today, um, a lot of times when I've played draft on past FIFAs I just used to pick the highest overall without thinking about chemistry. That, I think personally if your chemistry is around 80 to 100 it still doesn't matter on foot draft but that's just my opinion. There will be custom tactics in this episode as well, just a solid pair of custom tactics for for foot draft i keep trying to say for champions but obviously that will be the other day so check that video out if you haven't already so as you can see we've got griezmann we've got suarez we've got neymar there's a few players i was happy to try out that perisic in the calm position i do try out his left forward in for champions i think it was like a few months back and he was a solid card to be honest very solid card when i had team the air modric and stuff like that so Pogba is someone who we're going to be bringing on as a sub. At this point I'm just trying to get the most chemistry out of the can. I'm just messing about with a few things. So I did get that Giuliano. I have had his team at the group stage. I think it was. The same colour card as Gundogan there. Who doesn't actually get a game for it. Which is quite sad because I like his card. And we do have some good players in there. Obviously in Sydney 88. We have Hummel, so he's going to come off the bench and play in that centre-back position. We'll have that Tonelli card and Florenzi. I was kind of glad to get them too, because I know people love them in for champions. So we're getting the custom tactics. I've slowed it down a little bit. So wait until the end of the custom tactics bit runs out and then pause the video. Because I did change these, because I played a custom tactics for online divisions that were similar to these. And they did work as well. These aren't me Foot Champions custom tactics. I know the gameplay is a little bit different in Foot Draft, which I don't like the gameplay. If it was more like Foot Champions, I would play it a lot more. The gameplay is so slow, I think it's so lethargic. Because you've got the best players in Ronaldo, Neymar, Messi, etc., players seem to be like. I don't know if there's some sort of chemistry thing going on where Ronaldo is not getting full chemistry. So he's not running through as fast as he normally does and stuff like that. But my opinion on the top players, I don't like using them. Because I've used that 99 Ronaldo before and he's not very good. First opponent here, he does have a decent enough team. We've given it a 7 out of 10. So that, that's because just because you've got Ramos, Griezmann, Suarez, Mkhitaryan, Anya yeah, and Philippe Luiz. That was the only reason he got that. It would have probably been lower but he tried to get his chemistry up. So watch this first highlight here as he's got Suarez running back and we had that Ruiz card who just couldn't get the ball off him. He was terrible to so I had to substitute him off straight away. So I think I brought on Pogba, um, brought on Hummels and I brought on someone else. Ronaldo, yes that's what it was. I, I forgot who I brought on here but that Melo was terrible at the CDM obviously. He's just he's just bad to be honest. He's got decent stats, he just he isn't Pogba. When I've got Pogba, I'm gonna use Pogba. So obviously team of the season is creeping up on we're kind of coming faster than people expected. I think it's gonna be in the next two to three weeks personally, when the first one's gonna drop, and I think it's gonna be the most consistent comes first, I do believe. And then probably Championship and then other leagues. I think they normally do that and they have the Premier League and kind of towards the end. But leave a couple out, maybe put Calcio A and Bundesliga mixed in with Championship and the Dewari League, I think it's called. Stuff like that. And then they'll have an other one with leagues that don't really get much coverage and stuff like that. So they'll have people like Pavon and stuff like that in them. Probably that I'll somehow I'll probably get a team in the season as well. Obviously, team in the season is good time for FIFA. I prefer it, prefer it, prefer it a lot more than team of the year just because there's a more variety. My problem with team of the season it comes at the end of the game and it pretty does make 
It doesn't make that much sense to me, really. Why does it come at the end of the game? I think it should have came three to four months ago when the game was still fresh enough. Like, Foot Champions is a little bit boring at this point. I'm still going to do it for the rewards and stuff like that for the channel. But, obviously there isn't really... Obviously people want the Team of the Season cards, but everyone wants a Team of the Season card. Saving up your packs and your coins is probably the best way to get one. But... It's kind of like the thing where people save up the SBC cards, where the people would do like buy 10 of the same left back from the Bundesliga to try and get more money on them. And everyone does that to a certain extent, which makes the players that you're going to buy for SBCs a lot cheaper than what they normally are. So you should keep that in mind as well. As well as this point is where you should be selling your players. I know there's a few players that are getting weak foot and skill upgrades, which is i don't i don't know how i feel about it really because it should be done at the start of the year i don't think there should be changing weak foot and skill upgrades at this point especially when the players that upgrade and they're not upgrading all of them who deserve them probably they might be doing it in batches of two and three four i don't know what they're doing but it did come out a few days ago a few days ago that there was leaked legends on PlayStation and Xbox, which that definitely probably won't be on PlayStation to be honest. It would be a good thing to be on PlayStation because a lot of the pro players and Xbox players and stuff like that may come over to PlayStation, which will make a much more viable console compared to Xbox. Because if you've seen a competitive sporting league, example esports or Anything to do with FIFA in general, the kind of there's a cloud over the PlayStation kind of competitive league, to be honest, in my opinion. So if you watched at the only regionals I watched was Miami, just because there was more hype than the other ones, to be honest, as obviously A and N skills was in it. But the way the PlayStation players got tricked on the live coverage and stuff like that, it was like they weren't even there really. They had like. I think one game to Xbox had three or four, and it was like, why are they even there, to be honest? It's kind of that thing where competitive games only work on PC, and I don't know, it's kind of weird to me for, for me to talk about, because obviously I'm a PlayStation user, I'm on Xbox. I don't get the appeal to Xbox, apart from Legends, to be honest, because the connection and everything else on the PlayStation is a lot better. So, we do win this game here, foot draft match. What I would say about the foot draft is the defending is a lot weirder than foot champions online divisions. There's something kind of, it leaves you open a lot of times. It's a high scoring thing. It's whoever can score the most. So, if you can't finish and you haven't got many coins, I wouldn't recommend going into foot draft because you're going to lose your coins. The packs aren't really worth it, to be honest. As you'll be able to see at the end of the video what packs we do get, which I think are terrible compared to what I've seen other people who has been knocked out in the first round getting. So if, even if you play foot draft, there's another thing as well where it doesn't matter where you finish, you're getting a reward. Which means if you finish, if you win all the games, you should get the high end reward, which you don't. You can get win all the games and get something that you can get in the first round. I think that's kind of weird. As well as like for champions rewards, monthly rewards. I think there should be some sort of tier based system where if you are, let's say, you hit top 100, you should get a player over a certain overall, especially when there's no legends on PlayStation. And compared to Xbox, I think that would be a good addition. Maybe 190 overall player in your monthly rewards or something like that. That would be a good addition compared to Xbox. As what people seem to forget, it's not PlayStation users' fault that they don't have Legends. Obviously, Sony don't want to play, pay the rights to buy the Legends, which I don't blame them for myself because it's FIFA really... I don't really get much about the kind of legislation and stuff like that, especially when it comes to FIFA and Legend contracts and stuff like that. But if they want to make PlayStation a more competitive platform for kind of for champions in general it may, it kind of makes sense for playstation to have the legends and to have 
the SBCs, everything that comes along with the Legends on Xbox, to be on PlayStation. So they'll never be a properly developed competitive scene kind of what Xbox is if they don't put Legends on PlayStation. Even if you watch the events where Xbox and PlayStation, 90% of the pro players on Xbox are... Kind of, they kind of look down on PlayStation players when you look at that event itself. It revolved around Xbox players. PlayStation players are looked down upon in my opinion. Obviously that's not the majority's opinion probably, but that is my opinion on the... Even if you watch it back you can tell it's not like any secret or something. So here we do get in the last game. He's got a 5 out of 10. This is because... He's got a good he's got good players in there, but he's just mixed them around to get full chemistry. I think if he went with some more high overall players in there and reducted the chemistry, you would have had a lot better of a chance to try and attack because he did have that Sandro person up front who scored I think two goals in this video. And he was you kinda look at the bounce really, I scored and he scored and stuff like that. So, he wasn't the best, but he did score when I scored. So, we did finish by winning the draft and stuff like that. I was going to give you some... I was not the microphone. Fantastic. But, I was going to give you some more tips in this video, but I might leave that for another day as I talked about some different subjects and stuff like that. So, I hope you liked the video. Obviously, we're going to get into... I'm not going to be opening the packs today, we're going to keep them for Team of the Season, that's what this video is about. Preparing for Team of the Season. So, it does cost you 15k the draft, I think, for the rewards you get and the kind of pack weight, it should be around 10 to 12k, isn't that? 15k is a ridiculous price to pay four games and to get some packs which might not even be worth the value of kind of coins which I don't think is fair to be honest it should be a more there's two systems that need to be changed the draft and for champions rewards to a certain extent as you can see I think them two are two 5k packs and two 7.5 so we've got 10k worth of packs extra for winning the whole thing which is terrible to be honest as them packs are not going to have anything in them so we're coming towards the end of the video i would like to thank everyone for watching leave a comment down below like subscribe all that sort of stuff i have been patterson thank you for watching i will see you next time goodbye